In supply chain financing, a financial institution provides financing to a company's suppliers based on the creditworthiness of the buyer. This allows suppliers to receive payment for their invoices faster than they would otherwise, improving their cash flow and reducing their reliance on expensive short-term borrowing. The buyer, on the other hand, can negotiate longer payment terms with a financial institution, which helps to improve their working capital position. Supply chain financing can take several forms, including invoice financing, reverse factoring, and dynamic discounting. In invoice financing, the financial institution provides financing to the supplier based on the value of the invoice, which is then repaid by the buyer at a later date. In reverse factoring, the financial institution pays the supplier immediately upon receipt of the invoice, and the buyer repays the financial institution at a later date. Dynamic discounting allows suppliers to offer discounts to buyers for early payment of invoices, which can be facilitated by a financial institution. Overall, supply chain financing helps to improve the financial stability and efficiency of the supply chain by providing access to affordable financing for suppliers and helping buyers to manage their working capital effectively. Here's an example of how supply chain financing works in practice. Suppose that a company, ABC Corporation, orders $100,000 worth of goods from its supplier, XYZ Company. The supplier provides the goods and sends an invoice for payment, with payment terms of 30 days. However, ABC Corporation has limited working capital and may not have the funds available to pay the invoice immediately. To address this issue, ABC Corporation could use supply chain financing. They could approach a financial institution and negotiate a supply chain financing agreement. The bank will then pay the supplier's invoice immediately, deducting a fee for their services. ABC Corporation can then repay the bank at a later date, according to the agreed upon terms. For example, the bank may offer ABC Corporation a repayment term of 60 days, with an interest rate of 5%. This gives ABC Corporation an additional 30 days to pay the supplier while also reducing the cost of financing. The supplier gets paid on time, and ABC Corporation benefits from improved cash flow. In this example, the cost of supply chain financing for ABC Corporation would be $100,000 plus 5% interest, $5,000, less the fee charged by the bank. Suppose the bank's fee is 1% of the invoice value, $1,000. Then the total cost of financing would be $104,000, $100,000 plus $5,000, minus $1,000. Overall, supply chain financing is an effective way for companies to manage their working capital by improving cash flow and reducing the risk of late payments. Supply chain financing is a financial strategy that helps businesses optimize their working capital by improving the cash flow within their supply chain. Essentially, it involves using financial instruments to make sure that suppliers are paid on time while giving buyers more time to pay their invoices. This can help both suppliers and buyers manage their cash flow more effectively, while reducing the risk of late payments and other financial issues.